occurs, whether, you know, it's Columbine was the first one that I can really recall that yeah. set in and, and made you feel like things had changed. But typically, I mean, visitors are not allowed to just go in and wander hallways. They have to go into the office and sign in. Um, we were talking about the schools where you even have to buzz the door in order to be allowed into the school in the first place. But in this case, if the gunman's mother is the kindergarten teacher, it may explain how he was able to get past that front door. Uh, it could very well explain that Contessa. He was obviously known to the school community here and probably posed no threat, at least until today. And as you said, uh, I buzz, I am very well known in my kids' schools, and I have to be buzzed in every single time, and I did. And there's a camera uh, that just above the door that I actually, should, you know, I just can't say it's me, Pat Battle Johnson, coming in, you know, to bring my child his lunch money or to pick up my daughter's books. They are looking to see that I am who I am. And believe me, there are many times Times that there's been another parent behind me or someone who I perhaps didn't recognize and I thought twice about whether I should let that person in the building behind me and more often than not I have done that I will never do that again and I'm betting that every parent anyone who goes in and out of a school building is probably feeling about the same way right now because I feel that these people had obviously no idea what was coming through the front door of that school this morning that it would bring such death destruction and tragedy on such a beautiful and close-knit community Tessa, and this could happen anywhere. We all know that, and we say it time and time again, but when it happens in a place like this, when it happens anywhere, I think it brings a realization to all of us that we are not safe anywhere, and I would venture to guess that if that school did not have such a security system, I'm venturing to guess that virtually every school in this country and beyond will have that kind of security built in as a result of this, but you know, this isn't about the school, it's about guns, Contessa, and as I was reading my Twitter account coming up here. I'm hearing more and more conversation about that. And in essence, that man didn't kill people. His gun did.